Yeah, so welcome to the La TV, and I have here my brother. He's not a friend. Though. We started working over today. My brother, Sarah Music. Welcome, bro. Akpe, 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 akpe. Efu de la. Thank you so much. So, I'm here for the la today. Yeah, for the la. Welcome, bro. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hey, Peki. Yeah, welcome to my music shrine. Shrine. So, so basically, Sarah Music is um, a folk. Should I, am I right? Folk, I have a folk, I have a folk musician, a traditional folk musician, which I admire a lot because it's not everybody would be do authentic or original music. And if somebody like this is doing it from way back since I know him, so Sarah Music. Um, what's up with Sarah Music? What's in the pipeline? Um, so many projects. So many projects. Um, the pending one is uh, the Amukagawe Street Arts uh, Music Festival, uh, which we are staging here in Peking. Yeah, so the purpose is to create a, a platform for you know artists, creatives to come and you know uh, you know use the stage and show us what they've got. A, a, a day to celebrate music, to celebrate uh, arts, you know, in a form of nature. But why Peki? I saw uh, you're heading as the voter project. Uh, why Peki uh, first? Okay, um, I'm not seeing it as a town. I'm seeing it more of like a, a state or, or, or a region more. Wow. I see it like a uh, platform for a pet. People, okay, people, you know, in the Everland. So I don't see it as picking. I can, we can do it anywhere. We can do it in Chito. We can do it in Go. We gotta do it somewhere, you know. So that's why. I, I think since I came to Peking, Charlie, since yesterday, oh, the weather be nice. The people are nice. I like them. All. I thought we go the bush inside. No good there yet. <laughs> yeah. So Sarah Music. Uh, all right. So Sarah Music uh, is having a program on Friday and Saturday. 16th and 17th, which is the Amu Gagawe Festival, uh, which I would like to know the meaning of Amu Gagawe. Why Amu Gagawe Festival? How did it come about? So, uh, when I started with my team, we realized that there was no form of um, uh, entertainment or attraction mm -hmm. in, in, in town. Yeah, yeah. So, we were like, okay, let's think of something that uh, can create a scene for people to come witness. Yeah. So we don't have, unfortunately, we don't have uh, the ocean that we could say, oh, we are organizing a beach party or something. Okay. Uh, the, so we, we relied on our names, or folk names, if you like, okay. you know, and us, how we, we, how you, our uniqueness, okay. how we, 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 we choose to pronounce something, how we communicate. Mm -hmm. So one of those, uh, uh, so one of those phrases, uh, old phrases we used to use Amu Gagawe, mm -hmm. we still use in Peki. When we say Amu, it means man. What mm -hmm. we say Nye. So we say Amu in Gagawe is uh, every word, our word for Shin, the Shin. Uh, other areas have a different uh, ways they call it. Bear, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I don't know how they call it. But how do you call? How do you call? Yeah, Are you sure? So when you said Amu Gaga, yeah, I was like this thing. Someone told me that <laughs> the key. Yours, even though we are speaking the other language, yours are very different. When I when I came here, I'm like, hey, am I am I a Bhutanian at all? It was difficult to even talk to some people. I had to open my ears twice before. You know, so what you are saying? Uh, so Amu Gaga, Amu Amu means my my, yeah. and Gagawe is the she she. Yeah. It's like my she. Yeah. So yeah. So oh, okay. it's just a very to me I see it to be a very interesting and funny yeah. phrase. So we decided to to adopt the, that word or phrase for the festival. Yeah, so it's not any. Um, Anybody's name, like I thought it's Amu, Amu yeah, something, yeah. and then no. it's just a coincidence that the Amu sounds like 
Nah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think you held some Facebook events. I've, I've been watching all, and I like the way you are promoting Peki, our voter music. Uh, I think you are doing well. You are doing very, very well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, with my second question is, how did you get into music? Like, for music, um, I interviewed someone, he said he was born into a music family. Mm. So, he grew up you know, listening to all his grandma saying, mm. everybody doing music. How did you find yourself? passion for my music or how I actually explain music uh, began was in a, with the water region okay. here Bikini, okay. you know back then there was no form of entertainment or education okay. for us so the only place was uh, when you sang in the church choir okay. so we we'll talked to the choir master so that I yeah, yeah. <laughs> joined the choir okay. so I ended up I mean, singing the CUIB so the love for music and especially hymns started. I lived with an auntie, a strict auntie who wouldn't let us go out to play. So I, out of my loneliness and boredom, I write my feelings, how I felt, you know. So over time, I, I decided to, you know, put them into melody to make songs. So I'll say that's the early stages of my music and how the love started. And we've seen the group. The group and right now the reactions on the social media platform now it's it's amazing it's amazing that shows that you're you doing a great job and kudos to yourself and your team my next question would be are you under a record label because the kind of things you are doing i don't think you are alone now. Um, I am, I am, I am what we call a do-it-yourself do artist. It yeah, D-I-Y-S, right? Yeah. Do-it-yourself artist. Um, you know, sometimes when you have a certain kind of brand or originality, um, you'd, you'd want to be very careful uh, to know or careful with the kind of associations you make so that uh, nothing else influences or drifts you away from your dream. So this is what I do. Um, whenever somebody believes in what I do and sees it, it um, benefits to the community and all that, and you want to manage me, they have to really make sure I stick to it and not to uh, change my, my brand. So it hasn't been easy and it's not easy being a, a do-it-yourself artist, but you get the luxury of time, freedom to to best express yourself yeah so yeah. why is it that uh, most of our folk music shows uh, doing original it could be any kind of music it's very difficult to have them you know, to have record labels as in uh, empire or whatever come and sign them what, what is the problem is it that you guys don't want to be under management or you don't like the kind of music you are promoting? Uh, I, I would say, you know, they have the money, so, yeah. Uh, or, yeah, so they are the one who make the money, they are business people, they they want to put their money into, uh, what is the issue in the town, you know, they want to put, invest in where it's going to go so quickly, you know, so that's why most of them invest in these areas. There's another kind of, it's just like a tree with so many flowers and all the fruit. You know, that's how to me I see um, artistry or shows. You know, the one that you like, you go for it. We, can, we all cannot be, be one people. We all cannot sing a certain kind of uh, brand or genre. We all have to be, you know, unique. You know. Um, it comes with consequences, it comes with sacrifices. You know, if you want to do what some of us do, you have to be ready to, you know, pay the price. There are a lot of sacrifices. You know, it's, it's not easy, but uh, there are some people out there who understand the hustle. Are you hoping for signing? The record label, if the deal is good, are you hoping? Because we are all saying they have the money, uh, they want, let's say a record label comes in with a good deal, are you open to sign up for, you know, for business purpose? Uh, of course. I mean, the, uh, the, a 
record label that comes in, uh, I believe uh, they they would have um, seen what I do and love what I do. That's why they are coming. So of course they would be very open to uh, opportunities as as, as such. Yeah. And uh, um, how has our fellow musicians accepted you since? We started, you know, with covers, and you know, I've been watching most of your videos, and no, from the beginning, it used to be covers. I love the covers and stuff. Have you changed from that to, uh, and were they not disturbing you? Like even someone like Shatawale's song, uh, when they come after you, uh, uh, it, you know, music is music. Yeah. Um, you have to respect people when you do music. So, you know, respect is very paramount when it comes to music. Uh, so I wouldn't want to do something that will tarnish my fellow musicians in the industry or cause them to lose you know, to my benefit. Uh, what I do, the, like like they said, when I started this man, the way I and stuff, I started with the rendition of popular songs, and uh, these were just things to as a craft or an art to show people that the song you've heard you, or you hear or you've heard in a, another language can be translated or rendered in a, into a different language and it will still sound cool. So that's the creativity part, the creative or the artistic part of it. But unfortunately some people they don't see it, they think you are being um, copycat or not being original. You know, yeah. you know, music is dynamic uh, but we I come from a community or a society that sees things differently or just one way. You know? Yeah, so for the greater few that understands what I do or what I did back then, they will appreciate that uh, it is I'm rendering a popular song and all credit goes to the person. Because in titling the video, I always say, Shatawa ever the ever rendition of Shatawale's Melissa, you know, so that the credit goes to him. That oh, so anyone who is watching, oh, so the original person's name is Shatawale. Um, so I'm going away is live tomorrow. It's a street art and music event that we're trying to celebrate art, celebrate music, to see how we can collaborate. Um, to, to invent, like to collaborate to make new stuff. Yeah, so starting tomorrow, like like we said, we're gonna be having artists from Sweden, Togo, Australia, uh, here in Ghana. So um, it's it's going to be big. We have um, David Eva from Sweden. Patrice is coming tomorrow from Australia. Having two saints from Togo, Pasanko from Togo, you know, we're having a George Number Bogo Pop group from Porta region and a few more artists. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, we should all support Sega Music. Um, go to his YouTube channel, subscribe, go to Facebook, uh, follow whatever, follow the brand Sega Music. You know, um, one thing I would like to say is I like originality and as Ghanaians, we can't just go off and leave our original roots. So let's come back to Ghana. If you are in the diaspora, uh, support the brand Sarah Music and let's keep it going. I, I, I hope uh, this festival would end here. And then we have more, maybe it can be in, in Cape Coast. You know, just to have, you know, you play and then jump to some new music. Definitely, right? So, uh, in Cape Coast, then wherever you are, you come around and have a festival with you and it was nice having Sarah music. Thank you. Um, God willing tomorrow, see ya live. Thank you.